Welcome to my bus. Well. It is January 1956, and I was arrested right here. Whoa, that's very cool. Do you know I was president of the United States from 1945 to 1953? No, I can't say I did know that. I don't know how to read or write, but I do know how to get thrown off of a bus. I was born in 1913, and I am just starting reading lessons next week. Pretty sad, eh? My family tried to get me into a good school, but they would never teach a black person. My mother and father, James McCauley and Liana Edwards, tried their very best, though. Oh, I see. That's, well, that's too bad. But it's good that your parents were adapted, dedicated them to your study. My work as well. They always expect, expect a lot, but I thank them now. My parents' names are John Truman and Martha Truman. So why didn't you just move to the back of the bus or below it up? That's how I solve a few problems with Japan. Oh, I never thought about that. It sounds a little cruel to me, and I do know what cruelty is firsthand. What do you mean by that? Well, my people have been through a lot, you know. I've seen people get beats, hung, and all sorts of bad things that I don't like to remember. Oh, I see. So, what was a major achievement of yours as president? I take very much pride in the World War II, but not in a boasting manner or anything. I'm just glad no more lives will be lost over the war. I overheard a few people talking the other day about you. Was it good or bad? I'm not sure. I think it was something about American foreign something, I think. I can't remember. Oh, yes, I see. That was one of, one of my best religious legacy and contributions. Have you heard about Chinese Civil War? I ordered the U.S. Navy 7th Fleet to into the Tampa Strait to prevent further uh, conflict between the communism government in China mainland and the Republic of China of the China um, Taiwan. Well, I, I I actually don't support the communism. Uh, that's why I try to help the government on the other side. Also, I signed the uh, National Security Act of 1947 as a part of the U.S. Cold War. Uh, but enough about me. What did you just? A, what did you do just a few weeks ago? That was very brave. I wasn't brave. I was more nervous than a hooker in church. But I'm just tired of the way some whites are treating us. It's just not fair. Well, young lady, the contribution of bravery will help you people win their rights in. If I may so myself, you have created a legacy that won't be forgotten. Yeah, so whatever become of Europe after World War II? The United, United Nations came up with the Marshall Plan, which helped to rebuild Europe a, below, a little bit. So, how was the economy during World War II then? Uh, the war got things goes for us. It really bound the economy, and we need it. Oh, I see. I saw something like that on television in a store once. Yes, a lot of people seem to be doing that these days with their leisure time. We don't own a television. I saved up my money for a full year once, and I tried buying a television for my mother. But the guy at the store said this, we don't sell to niggers. It's hard to be black sometimes. Yes, I do feel bad for the nigger rats. But it's difficult with all the southerners protesting against equality and violently at, at that. <coughs> so what did you do today, sir? Well, I woke up at 5 a.m. to take my pounders on a walk. Uh, oh, you know, I have, a, uh, I have to stay in the ship. I went to my yoga class later and then I went training and finally I came and managed So here. Oh, wow. That's exciting. I woke up at 1, and then I went to the park and played basketball with all my friends, and then I came here. But it's getting late, and I have to be getting back to the family in the hood. Shouldn't you be getting back to yours? Yes, I should go to pick my wife and daughter now, so thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye. Okay. For the, uh, for the clearance Woo! on that, uh, that was supposed to be Negro race.